Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's a new um, Sonic, oh my gosh. There's a new leak out there right now for the December 2nd Sonic announcement weekly content drop thing. And I'm freaking out. I want to believe it, but it is so, all right, let me just read it. Let me read it. So it's from 4chan, so I really shouldn't have my hopes up. But listen, okay, so I know an ex-employee by the name of Larry, and it's the same guy who leaked Sonic Forces plot back when it was known as Sonic Wars, and he was mostly right. Also leaked the weekly content drop uh, for Sonic on the Sega 60th website, and here are four major things that we are expecting to see. One, there's going to be a wallpaper and some merch, and there's no surprise there. We, we all expected that. I'm posting memes about it. We, we all saw that coming. Um, they all said there's going to be a gaming crossover announcement, and I have an idea what that might be. I'm not sure 100%, but uh, yeah. So next they had um, a new Sonic game trailer, but it's a cinematic only like Sonic Forces, like their first trailer with like Sonic and then Classic Sonic showing up or whatever. Um, the third thing they have is a Sonic, this is the, oh my gosh, a Sonic mega collection of his greatest 2D and 3D hits to compete with Nintendo's Mario 3D All-Stars. Now, whew, this sounds insane. I know I should be hyped about that new Sonic game trailer, but if it's just cinematic only, I'm, I'm hyped, but like this, this is going to be the greatest 2D and 3D hits. Oh my gosh, they had two bangers right here. Two and three sound like this is going to be the biggest week for Sonic in a long, long time. And I, I want to believe it, but it's just so hard because I just don't see all of this stuff happening in one week. Can you imagine like Sonic Colors, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, uh, Sonic Unleashed all getting ported to like Switch, PS4 and PS5, Xbox, and the new Xbox. I can't remember what it's called, a Series X. That's what it is, I think. But to have all of that stuff all at one time in this one week sounds like way too much. I'm not complaining. And I don't think it's a bad move at all, considering we've had nothing this entire year, basically, except for the movie. But that wasn't even from Sega. But seriously, like to have all of this stuff be hit at us and one week sounds insane. But anyway, the fourth thing will be a Q&A interview with Sega and Izuka regarding Sonic's history and what the 30th anniversary will have in store. So this is, all in all, this is really hype. Number one, just the whole wallpaper thing, we saw that coming. Number two, a new Sonic game trailer. It's, it's gonna be CG, so, I mean, I'm, it's gonna, I bet it's gonna look cool, but, I, uh, <laughs> I have no words right now, really. I'm lost. But this will be something. Uh, I don't even know if I have my hopes. Like, I don't want to have my hopes up, and I don't want y'all to have your hopes up. I'm still thinking we're only going to see a couple wallpapers here and there. But I would not be surprised if there were some sort of port, like, of one game or two games max. But a whole collection? A whole collection. The collection's got me off the wall, because I really want to play Heroes on Switch, and that should be in that collection, and there's no dispute, Hero should be on that collection, 100%. But, what do y'all think? Um, let me know down below, am I too hype about this? Are you too hype about this? Do you think this is completely inaccurate? But apparently this Larry guy, he leaked the Forces plot back then, when it was known as Sonic Wars, and also we leaked the uh, Sonic on the 60th website, so he's got some credibility back his name up. Um, but yeah, um, let me know what y'all think down below. This is Sonic's just signing out. It's been real. <sighs> Let's just wait till tomorrow. Why are you playing that trash?